Alrighty, let's play this in full. It's pretty short. It's gonna loop this a couple times. You get the hit with the ending. Let's play this one more time. All right, and you are mentioning here, you move to spline. All right, you added more breakdowns. I can see that, especially during the section, which is cool. Made the timing faster. It felt a bit slow once I moved to spline. Mm, I got some thoughts on that. It's a bit too fast right there on that drop right there. But there's stuff you could tweak. Well, let me just go through your notes here. You tracked your arcs. Always good to see. I still be careful about some of those arm arcs, how they suddenly stop and have different direction changes. So be careful about that. Um, not sure about the part after he lands. He does feel a bit relaxed and the timing's a bit weird there, but I've got some thoughts there. Still working on the other guy. I changed the gun part as he suggested. I made him the punching pose. I think that's cool. I think the contact point will definitely be better. Um, I wonder though what he could do is potentially move him with the chest more towards us. Meaning that imagine he's here, but the chest, you know, that shoulder could be here, where it's basically we see almost the front part of the chest, the other shoulder is here, other hand could be here, and he's kinda there where you know, even that leg, I, this leg would be here going back, and this back leg would be here. Again, my drawing does nothing, but I'm trying to find something where we take this shape here and move it over towards us, mainly so we can see that leg more. Because now with this, we're starting to obscure a lot of the things. And I think if you open the character up towards us, so that you could still have technically that hand there, but imagine or even if that if this arm would be back here or something like this in the shoulder back and just a bit more twisted towards us. Maybe he just, you know, he's, he's about to turn and it's something that's kind of not just one pose. You can kind of experiment with that a bit so we don't still focus from this guy. But I would try something where we open this up where we don't hide the leg as much. I'm kind of missing, missing that part there. Now, on the other guy, the main thing, the two main things when I was watching this for the first time was this, once you're here, this drop felt fast as if it was pulled down. Something a bit funky. And then once you get to here, the the mechanics are a bit off and the arm swing feels more like <clears throat> you're getting into a ragdoll thing of, oh, I'm just kind of powering down and it's like a robot and then stopping versus a character. What I would do is imagine, I mean, you know, it can easily also just cut here. You don't have to have that whole ending. You can do pow, 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 cut in a different bit of a different pose, but you could still cut earlier if you want. But what I would think about is, let's pretend there came a shot before and there's going to be a shot afterwards. So once this happens and this character bounces back and imagine he's on the floor, gets back up, draws a gun or something. Like what? Or maybe not. I mean, anyway, think about is he still a threat? So is he going to end up in a pose where he's ready to continue to fight? Or he sees while well, this guy is out and it's more into a, no, not super relaxed and power down pose like here, but more something where he's almost bragging or it's kind of like, yeah, I got you or, or whatever it is, whatever something where it's an attitude of he's not a threat anymore or another pose where he off screen is getting ready for another fight and he just gets ready into another pose and whatever the pose would be. That's what I would think about. So watch out for that. The thing that I was I was saying here on, on the drop, what you could do is stylize this more where you would have boom. And during this section, it's tricky to not go into slow motion, but imagine it just has more exaggerated, slower part, hang time. So it's kind of like a and then it kind of drops back down. You know, when people jump in, in more stylized versions where they go phew, phew, have that jump hang time and oh really snappily if that's a word snappily go back down that could be something but if not i would add some more frames to this section here so it doesn't feel so because what, what's also happening is that you have a certain amount of speed through here and then you have this fast drop through there and a fast rotation back as well and once you're here, it's back to slow, giving us this weird, that weird transition, especially through here, fast, slow, 
that feels a bit odd. So I would a bit uh, work a bit more on that. You could also experiment with because you start having this like this, like that, and you can imagine potentially more spread out. Here you go even more um, tucked in and you could potentially just push this a bit more, maybe bring this guy further back where you might be here, here, but on that impact, like it's it's much more um, extended, that leg for real wow, kick. And maybe only by now, maybe he's here or Yeah, or even only here. So I have a big, nice arc on that leg. I'll definitely do a little bit more of a pass on your arcs. This is also a bit crazy when you have this and this over one frame. Just looking at your, your previous framing or spacing. Bah! Because the thing is, you have fairly big pop here, then the very slow here, or a small spacing. And really big spacing here and then back to a smaller spacing here and then actually a direction change out that doesn't continue too much and then you go back down the other way so those arms i would simplify these a bit more watch out for your timing too so i see just more of a pop in those arms that doesn't quite match the rest of the body uh, timing and the style so i think right now it's a bit all over the place kind of simplify that a bit more and just kind of look at do you want to go to the really snappy timing for everything or just slow this part down a bit so it's a bit more consistent with what you have here and here this again i would look at how do you want to proceed the shot what's going to happen afterwards this feels more like someone that's drunk and was pushed by someone or if you look at those darpa things where you got those four-legged robots and there's this guy that just you know decides to uh, to kick that robot over and goes over so this it suddenly feels like a totally different shot this character is recovering from being drunk or or something but also just in general when you want to do a sidestep if he goes this way and the root goes this way you got to give it some time to change direction this feels almost more like a linear key you have a bit of an ease in but it's a very quick direction change and you have to think about it. at this point he's fairly off balance trying to be somewhat balanced with legs and arms out. It's going to take a while for that root to whoa, 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 slow down and come back. Because the only way it can change direction this way is by the limbs out and arms out that form like a counterweight for it to drop back this way. On a pose like this, there's no way the character can actively push himself this way unless, you know, this is sticky and massively huge leg muscles all coming through the foot here. So this is more of a push over balance hold 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 hang time on the side coming back through because of the arm swing and the leg countering the weight over there okay so these are my ask okay no one's on the other side to answer but i always say that so i'll leave it at that uh, let me know you can always email me for any questions and how you want to proceed thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.